Well, you, this is why people have issues with Grinder, and I do too. Where I've seen people on TikTok, they're very anti Grinder, and they're like, "This has ruined the gay community and things like that." And I actually think it has. And I think the balanced version of me—I'm a Libra. I'm all about balance. I want to go well. Uh, Grinder is good for some people, and, and actually, I would be bold enough to say, I think, <laughs> don't come for me, that I don't think Grinder is healthy. That's not to say. I don't think hookups are healthy. Yeah. I think that's a different thing. But I think Grindr as an app has been designed for people to discriminate against other people, mm. to talk to other people like they're a piece of dirt on their shoe. Yeah. And it's gotten gay men used to instant gratification and instant pleasure as opposed to going out, meeting someone, going on a date. If that ends in a hookup and you and you want that, then that's great. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It's, it's like Grindr has become the deliveroo of gay sex. Yeah. And I think it, the app is just uh, and awful. That's, and that's not great. No, it's not. And also, the I think a big thing with social media and, like, Grindr's the only... Oh, I'm sure there are other ones that are... Grindr was the original one. Yeah. It? You know, the anonymity of it. Yeah. And I get... I suppose for people who are not out... Yeah. And they, they, they want and need that mm. physical connection, relate, whatever, however you want yeah. to talk about it, then... I get why they use it, but again, there's a again if you if you're not out, there's a place of not accepting who you are as a human being, and that is often reflected in how they speak to people. Mm. And you know, you know, I've I, I've been on grind a long, long time ago. Mm. You know, bef, bef, back when I was when it kind of first came out. Yeah. Um, which you know before before I was in, in any relationship, yeah. But it's 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 not a if if you're using it and you're not out, mm. then it's terrifying because the thought of being outed. Yeah, and most people are not bothered about outing somebody, which no. is something you don't realize until you come out. Yeah, yeah. Um, some people are. Don't get me wrong, but um, so I get why those people use it. But I think again. It's something. Grinder is something that is really divisive in the yeah. gay community because it is specifically asks you to put yourself into a category. Yeah. Are you a bear? Are you a otter? Are you a twink? Are you a jock? Mm -hmm. Or whatever else they have. First of all, I don't want to be any kind of animal. Yeah. On account of me not being an animal. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I don't want to be described as such. Yeah. I also don't want to be put into a bracket that these are the characteristics of that thing because mm. if you don't fit that 100 percent, yeah again you are going to have to adjust something yeah. about you and most men don't most men's bodies do not fit into the super skinny twink category or into the sort of graduated from a twink to an otter because you've got a little bit of hair or you're a larger man and hairy and you're a bear or you're a muscular jock like most people's bodies don't actually fit into yeah. any of those categories so then it leaves everyone else feeling really terrible about themselves yeah. and going well i need to choose a body type and i need to commit to it <laughs> and it also you know that then feeds into porn which people watch yeah it then feeds into the fetish fetishization of particular attributes or people who look a mm. particular way so the the fetish fetishization of bears mm. jocks twinks whatever it is and then again it takes away the control of the people who are not who don't fit into those yeah. categories because they're either trying to get into mm. one for some level of acceptance or it's like they're putting the people who are in that category on a pedestal yeah. and so they're giving away their their mm. power and, and I think it's yeah. it's 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 really harmful to your to an individual's um, self esteem yeah. to always be wanting to look or feel a different way, and, and that is a yeah. big thing that feeds back into something that underpins a lot of men's experience in the gay community mm. is issues around their body and how they feel about it. Yeah.